All right, today we're going to be talking about the housekeeping center, or what we like to call the pretend play center. Um, at the beginning of the year, it does start out as the house center, and then throughout the year, we change it depending on the theme we're learning about. Right now, it's set up to be a gingerbread bread bakery. And I guess I should start by just showing you, this is the door to the gingerbread bakery, so the kids know when the house center is open or closed with the functional open or closed sign. And then when it is open, they just, you know, like, they just the staff opens it for them and they can play in here. And then right now, what we have on the back of the door is just the rolls for Gingerbread um, Bakery. So one of the rolls is you can be a waiter or a waitress. If you're a waiter or a waitress, you can take orders, you can take money from the register, or you can answer the phone. And it just helps our kids know exactly what their job is, because a lot of times if we have the register out, all the kids want to play at the register. So we just want to make sure that they know what part of pretend play they are supposed to be doing. So that's um, that job, and then with that job, they know, these are mixed up, I'm sorry, uh, that this is their waiter apron, so it hangs with that job name tag, so they know that that's the job for that child. And then this one is actually um, the customer one, and the name tag actually says, I order food, I eat food, and I pay for, for the food. So that's that one. I'm going to just set that over here. And then the last one is I'm the baker, and the baker is mixes food, bakes food, and decorates food. And so with those spaces and those roles, each child knows where they need to go. The waiter and the waitress would be over here with this, and usually the phones are over here for this as well, so they can answer the phones. And then um, the customer would be over here, and with that we have um, little pods, a, like a little menu that has pods for the kids that are nonverbal to request. And then we have um, them just be able to sit here. But we also have some physical structure and physical boundaries. Um, for instance, this is a felt placemat that I created, so the kids can use um, silverware and plates and cups that have Velcro on them to make sure that they know exactly. So it's like a work system at the house center so that they can do that. And then there's stickers on each shelf that tells the kids where to put things back. So this happens to be the table setting basket, so the kids would come out and they would be able to set the table, a real functional skill that they may need in the future, and it adheres to the placemat, so just a nice little feature. So that's one feature, and then we've just kind of, over the years, kind of modified things so that it is a little more structured for the kids. A couple things um, that I've modified is this used to be actually, believe it or not, a um, stand for a record player. Um, back when kids, teachers used record players, and we modified it into be our refrigerator. And I just velcroed so the condiments go over here, and then we're actually able to have the kids sort food groups. So there's a oops, I have it up here with Velcro, but this one's for bread, and then we have one for fruits, one for vegetables, one for proteins. So that's an option. And we've actually added a feature just recently for our kids that that's not enough structure for them. And for those kids, the teacher is able to pull this out, and it's actual work tasks that are related to dramatic play. And on the top of it, you can see, I want to play Oreo cookies, or I want to play meal play, or egg play, or silverware sort. And then inside here, the background of those is color coded. So if I want to play Oreo cookies, I will pull out the red bag, and here's my Oreo cookie sorting game. And so they would just put the pieces together and then put them in like a um, put in task. And so that just structures that up for them so they can play a little bit better. So that's what that looks like. And every two weeks, our house center changes into whatever theme we're doing. So if we're studying pumpkins, it might be a pumpkin patch where they get to weigh and measure pumpkins. Or if we're studying um, the vet clinic and pets, then we might do, a, or if we're studying pet, a pet unit or an animals, we might do a vet clinic. So every um, two or three weeks, we switch it up so the kids have a new experience. One of the things, if it is a specific experience for dress up, um, this drawer system was added this school year, and it is yellow drawer, blue drawer, and red drawer. Sorry, I'm kind of in a bad position for this one, but the, this is actually sorting clothes. So the baby doll clothes are in here, and then the boy clothes are in here, and the girl clothes are down here. So just another skill for the kids. And in the baby doll one, we also have, which some of the kids use on a regular basis, even if we're doing gingerbread center or a specific theme-based center, so many of our kids need to learn how to play with dolls and babies. So this is a doll and baby kit. And this just um, has, okay, all of the things I'm going to do with the baby doll. So I play with a baby doll. I put the bib on baby. I, put, I feed the baby. I give the baby a bottle. 
I give the baby toys to play with, I rock the baby, and I sing to the baby. And we actually, when we're doing this center, we can put this out so the kids can sing to their baby dolls with different songs that they know. And then over here, we also have a way for them to look at their dress-up clothes and then a pod for them to communicate, a language pod for them to communicate what they thought of the outfit that they have on. So those are just some things in our house center currently. Um, as we get going in our blog, we'll have um, a feature on what the vet clinic one looks like and what the, what the birthday one looks like. And we'll do some others as well down the road. So thanks for joining us.